Knight Rider is one of the most popular 80s television show with a lone crime fighter the one and only Mr. David Hasselhoff that battles the forces of evil with the help of its virtually indestructible and artificially intelligent supercar kit. Kit had the iconic LED scanner on his hood and today my fellow nerds we will recreate this iconic LED scanner using the Raspberry Pi Pico. Here are all the things you will need, a Raspberry Pi Pico, 10 red LEDs, a few wires and a breadboard and your favorite IDE and finally two push buttons if you want to control the speed of the LED scanner. We will use MicroPython and if you are not sure how to use MicroPython, watch this video here where I will take your hand and go through it step by step. Now, let's look at the schematic together. The Pico has 26 multifunctional GPIO pins. We can use to keep things neat on a breadboard and minimize the number of wires needed. I decided to use these pins here shown in a table and in this table here is for our two push buttons to control the delay of our LED scanner. Make sure about the orientation of your LEDs that the anode which is the longer leg of the LED is connected to the Pico GPIO pin and the short leg which is the cathode is connected to ground. Now, for a part everyone enjoys and that is the coding, but let's keep it short and sweet this time. Go to my GitHub repository, link in the description and copy all the code. Open your favorite IDE, create a new file and then paste all the code. Here we import the machine library with the pin module and uTime to control our delays. Then we make a list with all our pins used for the LEDs and assign them to pin out and using the pull up mode not to use any external resistors. Next create the input for your two buttons making them pull down to keep them low until we press them to make them go high. Then we set our initial delay in seconds. For the main loop we create a for loop to turn on the first three LEDs and then turn them off, move to the next LED and repeat this whole process until we reach the end of our last LED, which we then do the same for loop but this time in reverse order. Now for this check delay function, we create a global delay variable to see if a button is pressed to either increase delay or shorten it and then we delay our program here. And that is how you create a simple Knight Rider LED scanner. Now make your own Knight Rider LED scanner and make the Hof proud. If you are still watching this and you want to see another cool project, go and check out this video here where we make a random clock generator from hell. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.